The Mays really is the guy within the United States more than anybody else who sort of brings to the table psychological theory as something that is an essential part of how, from the corporate side, of how we are going to appeal to the masses effectively. And the whole sort of merchandising establishment is ready for Sigmund Freud. What the corporations realized they had to do was transform the way the majority of Americans thought about products. One leading Wall Street banker, Paul Mazur of Lehman Brothers, was clear about what was necessary. We must shift America, he wrote, from a needs to a desires culture. People must be trained to desire, to want new things even before the old have been entirely consumed. We must shape a new mentality in America. Man's desires must overshadow his needs. Yes, we can. The opportunity and prosperity. Yes, we can. The opportunity and prosperity. Yes, we can heal this nation. Yes, we can repair this world. Yes, we can. Extraordinary success and captured America's imagination. The vision it portrayed was of a new form of democracy in which business responded to people's innermost desires in a way politicians could never do. But it was a form of democracy that depended on treating people not as active citizens as Roosevelt did, but as passive consumers. Because this, Bernays believed, was the key to control in a mass democracy. So democracy is reduced from something which assumes an active citizenry to the idea of the public as passive consumers, driven primarily by instinctual or unconscious desires, and that if you can in fact trigger those needs and desires, you can get what you want from them. Yes, we can.